until we can have every child back in school, that's a concern. That was Chief Education Officer Angela Finley referring to the attendance of students since school reopened fully on Monday, January 10th. While some schools are basically having over 80% attendance, um, you have some schools where it's the opposite, maybe as low as 20% for some schools. But for the majority of schools, though, um, the children who are expected to be there on a particular day, they are there. We have got school-specific plans, and um, those plans are basically um, pulling out from the cupboards the plans that in, um, were in place when the six-feet distancing was enacted within the last um, two um, cycles that we had. At the Anglican High School, acting principal Kim Paris says attendance has been more than 70%. Since we started attendance, I must say it has been fairly good. It's above 70% on average per day. And for the most part, I think the children are happy to be back, the teachers likewise. I must say, compared to the last time we were out, this time around, they are adhering to the protocols, especially the wearing of the mask. We are still having some challenges with the six feet distance. But for wearing their mask and washing their hands and sanitizing, I must say that they are doing that, and we are happy that they are doing that. Paris says they have opted to use devices in the classrooms to reduce the touching of too many books by students. And in the event that a student comes down with flu-like symptoms, a room has been set aside, which is in keeping with protocols provided by the ministry. We have plans in place if we are to come back, like, if more children are to come, then we'll have to abide by the guidelines that we are given. But if we are going to continue like this, we are going to continue with our same plan. The difference will be that we will re rotate the children on different days. So that a form 5, for example, that came in Wednesday to Friday this week, they would come in next week, Monday to Wednesday. Okay, and what is your plan now? What is happening right now, we have two levels per day and we are utilizing two classrooms to house one form. At J.W. Fletcher Catholic Secondary School, acting principal Laurel Bartholomew is reporting above average attendance. Well, school opened officially the 3rd of January. We had the Form 5s returning to school and we had a 90 to 93 percent in attendance. It's a class of 38 students and the numbers range within the 30s. Um, while that happening, we had a remote teaching and learning for the Forms 1 to the Form 4. That too would have seen a bit of improvement in terms of the attendance because we start off the day with assembly at 8 o'clock. So whether remotely or on site, we start with God. And then for this week, um, the Form 5s came in on Monday. We had a parent-teachers conference for the two days. Um, that too, they, basically the attendance was good in terms of the students and the parents. And for Wednesday, actually, from Wednesday, we had varying forms coming in. All right, at least once for the week. And the attendance is looking good. We have a number of students that are unwell. All right, whether it's the flu or whether it is um, COVID positive, but um, that too is in communication. Bartholomew says at this time, protocols are being followed if anyone falls ill while they await the handing over of a newly constructed sick bay at the school. The vision of the school within this COVID era was a sought one, and I must say, and a, a big thank you to the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Work, that we now see the construction of what we call the sick bay room. The principal of the St. George's Anglican Senior School, Nigel DeGale, is reporting a drop in attendance at his school, which houses grades five and six students. Since the reopening last week, the numbers has been dropping. Um, have been dropping a bit but not that significantly. Um, to date, 25% of my staff are in quarantine. Yes, two out of eight of them are COVID related. And about 13% of the students are absent because of the COVID again. They come from homes with cases of the Omicron variant. Vi variant. Yeah. So, uh, but we are coping well. We have a good turnout every day despite the Two teachers that are home and um, 
the children that are related to COVID and are at home working online. Well, we have the officers in front um, to identify them when they come. If they have show any sign of, you know, or symptoms, they'll be turned back because the parents, they work close with us. The parents don't really send children that are sick. Now and then one might, you know, s slip through. But we spot them and we send them back. And if during the day they develop symptoms, of course, we contact the parents and we follow the protocols and send them home. And we isolate them to the front in a room until the parents can get them. Yeah, so we have things in place for that and it has been working well so far. These are the views of some of the students we spoke with at the schools. So are you happy to be back at school? Yes. Why? Because I get to see my friends again and my teachers and, and to work. Most children are wearing their masks. I'm very happy to be back in school because it, it gives me an opportunity to like meet with my friends but also complete assignments because it's kind of harder at home, online. At, yeah. What about it online that make it harder? What, what you say? It's just like sometimes it's just connectivity, like not being present and you kind of miss a lot of information and catch up is kind of hard to place. I like face-to-face um, -face learning better than online, but the COVID cases are risky. Because I could interact with my teacher and when I'm on online, I don't really focus as much as when I'm in face-to-face. -face. Because I like to be with my friends and I can understand teachers better and do my assignments. If I have a question, I can just go to the teacher. On Friday, January 14, the Ministry of Education will be given the latest directive from the Ministry of Health and Social Security regarding the spread of the Omicron variant in the country. This will then guide decisions about the way in which the nation's children will continue to be taught. For the National Report, I am Sarana Mitchell.